Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Word to your mother. And, uh, excel to your father. PowerPoint to your brother. Access to your si <clears throat> Word processing. Uh, that is the uh, application that allows you to type in stuff and then save it and then possibly send it across the internet. If, of course, it wasn't actually created with a word processing app that lives on the internet. Something like Google Docs and Spreadsheets, which is free for anybody to use. Uh, my first word processor was <clears throat> really not... Uh, it was a typewriter. Uh, honestly, and couldn't type on it for a minute because it had to warm up before things really got going. Yeah, it was an electric typewriter, and uh, boy, those are the days. <sighs> wow. It gives all new meaning to the term rough draft if uh, your teachers still use that in school. I don't know. I, I'm only a, an English teacher by official teacher certification so we had a question submitted through a community member at large asking about making documents compatible uh, specifically were documents compatible with word 2007 well it's not that much of a challenge to make uh, older word processing formats compatible with newer versions it's usually the other way around a newer document formats sometimes have incompatible with older word processing programs that happen to be installed or being used on the web. Word 2007 uh, adds a few new features to its document structure. There are certainly plugins available for some versions of Microsoft Office older than Office 2007, but as far as any other word processing platform, eh, not so much. My recommendation, and I've always uh, kind of stuck with this, if all you're doing is typing in text, just plain text, not worried about layout too much, maybe some basic formatting features like bold, italicize, or underline. Instead of saving it out as the word format, why not save it as rich text format? Not only is rich text uh, a lot more compatible with word processors uh, from across the planet on a variety of platforms, but it also uh, is, is, you know, lot less prone to being hit with viruses. Now I know there have been a, a few proof of concept viruses for rich text format documents or RTF documents, uh, but uh, I, I still save out as rich text just because I know if I send it along, someone's going to be able to view it. If I save a document here inside of Word 2007, by default it's going to save it as the docx format, which is the new format that was introduced for Microsoft in uh, Word 2007 and largely something X format throughout the new version of the uh, Office uh, product line. Uh, if I save it out as a different file type, I've got a, a variety of options including a, a Word macro enabled document, a Word template, uh, a 2003 to 97 template, uh, I've got the PDF option because that's an installation that I made on Microsoft Office's official website. I can save it as a single file web page. I can save it as a web page. I can save it as plain text. And right there, ah, look at that rich text format. Uh, and that is going to allow for the greatest amount of compatibility. Again, that's only if you do a basic formatting things inside your document. If you start doing fancy things with layout and design and whatnot, uh, then it's going to be a little more complex. Uh, specifically, uh, Word 97, I'm sorry. Word 2007, the latest version, at least at this point in time, uh, has changed a few things in terms of the way a document is rendered. So if you start doing advanced layout and, and design within Word itself, uh, you may have to save it out specifically as a Word 2007. If you haven't done anything beyond simplicity, saving it out as an older, more compatible, cross-compatible Word document format, I still remember Office 95 when I first installed that and saw the red squiggly. I was in love. I loved the red squiggly. The blue squiggly and green squiggly, I could probably live without. But give me the red squiggly. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to take that one to my grave. In fact, I'm going to, I think on my gravestone marker, I'm just going to have my last name red squiggly because it's not in the dictionary. Except for you and me, we'll get the joke. 
Uh, speaking of getting the joke, uh, what do you think about Office? Do you think Microsoft Office is on its way out? Is Open Office better? Are there other Office alternatives? We've talked about them uh, before, like uh, iWork08, which is the Office suite from Apple, or at least a budding Office suite from Apple. Are these better uh, than Microsoft Office? And in what ways do you think they're better? Or in some ways, what do you think about them in, in, in light of... Uh, uh, Knowing that everybody thinks Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel or PowerPoint, these brands are just indelibly carved into our minds. Um, how do you get around that? How do you think the world is going to start thinking about the Office suites moving forward? Specifically when it comes to file compatibilities, it's such a nightmare. These compatibility issues just should not exist. So we're looking for suggestions, solutions, ideas, thoughts, smart remarks, whatever you want to leave, leave a comment. Or, of course, you're free to join us anytime, day or night, uh, the podcast course are archived at media.perillo.com or you can come by the chat room uh, live.perillo.com and uh, if I didn't tell you today um, if you have a, a, a website that you've wanted to register be sure to use the coupon code Chris1 uh, and you can actually go to the chat room at live.perillo.com go daddy and then like a name of website name of a uh, web com and if that website is not already registered, you will get a link that you can click on and then automatically register it with the coupon code. How about documentformatssuck.com? That'd be a good domain for you to own, wouldn't it? All right, we'll see you later.